Hello everyone, welcome to Nietzsche Channel. So today we continue to make our broadcast design in Cinema 4D. And today video we will talk about how to create material for our scene. This is a part 4 of this tutorial. If you not yet watched the previous part video, you can check in the link in video description. So let's back to our scene. Today I will create three types of material. is glossy material, metal material, and glass material. I provide HDR I file and picture that I use in this video in the link video description you can check and download it so first of all let's create the sky so we start from in here and then we choose sky let's create material for our sky you can create here and new reform material or with the shortcut control N or with the double click in here okay and we will have our material so i don't use color or reflectant and this is will be our hdri file and i will check on luminant and in luminant in teacher here we click on this button and we load our file and this is my file that i use in here Just click no okay and close it and then we drag our hdri file into the sky again okay. now let's turn off the camera first now we got our hdri file is looking like that so uh, we can click on the sky and right click and go to render tag ethanol uh, oh, sorry compositing and click on the compositing tag and seen by camera we uncheck it because we don't want to see it okay okay now let's create the box take material so before uh, here the material for this now let's start first with letter P here the material for the text box but before we create the material let's set up the render setting first we go to edit render setting so for this scene I will not use standard because I want to have something better so now I will use a fish call you can choose whether to use a standard by using the highest empty or using physical it's up to you you can check the, the quality between these two before you render the whole scene you can test in one scene one frame first but I found out that uh, these two setup if I choose standard and I use a uh, anti best 2 plus 2 or 4 plus 4 and or I use a uh, physical is uh, quite not quite different but physical render is um, better than standard but it also uh, take more time than standard render so in here I will use adaptive sampling quality i use medium and i keep everything like that blurriness i use only two and ambient occlusion because i i'm not render in here I, I don't use effect ambient so i just not necessary to put in a value on it so i put zero zero and then in at once i quick preview the default may be progressive mode I use on mode okay now let's create the material for text box and we rename it text box glossy because it's very glossy material okay and then in color we check it and we not change anything in color here but we go to texture here this button click and then we choose layer okay and we double click in this uh, icon black icon here okay it will go to the shader and in shader we click on the button shader and we choose color okay and double click on in the color in this color we use some of this color 
yeah, some thin color like that, a uh, Tosca blue. Okay, and after we got this color, let's uh, go back to our layer shader. This is the simple diffuse color that we don't have reflection yet. Now, first, let's uh, apply it on our uh, shoot this box. You will see something like that. Okay. What I don't want is something color like that. I want to make it like uh, with something more interesting. So I will create another shader. It's noise. And after we create, we will see something look like that. So let's change noise here to multiply. We will create something look like that. Okay, some is uh, the black part is overlay on the surface. Okay, now let's uh, double click on the noise. Okay, and this is what we will change. So let's change color one here to something like that. Okay, and color two. to light blue like that okay and then we change relative scale to 500 yes now if we render again so this is not looking so bad if we make an interactive render engine with noise without noise so so it's create some you can see how different now let's turn it off in here without noise and with noise okay Okay, now that's all for the color tab. So let's go to reflectant. In layer, we add CGH. Okay, and go to layer 1. Type is CGH. Attenuation, let's change to adaptive. So now we got some reflect. And you can see this is a reflect release of HDR file because HDRI file is contain the Purple, purple sin. So you will got some reflect, and then we change roughness to twenty percent. Reflect strength fifty. Specular strength fifty. okay and bump keep it the same and lay your color here we change color to some blue something light blue like that okay and then teacher we use fresnel and change mid strength to 65 percent layer mask we not change anything and layer fresnel we change from none to conductor and let copy color in layer color here and then we go to default specular and pass in here and you can play around with the width and height of specular if we increase it you can see the amount of spectula will affect the surface very much so I will not don't play too much something like that Okay, so that's all for our material. 
so we close it now let's render it render test it okay as you can see we got some dark black highlight here and white so it's looking nice for me so now let's create the material for our letter and the same is color we still use the same technique color layer and in shadow here we use color double click on color we will use some gray color something like that okay and then shadow noise and double click in noise so in noise tab we will use cell noise something like that and color one change to 155 and 155 color 2 keep it white like that relative scale skin to 300 and 300 yeah, something looking like that and then go back to our shader and we change blending mode to overlay decrease opacity to 50% now let us let apply the material on the letter so we will got something looking like that with noise without noise and then we go to reflectant we add CG8 adaptive roughness 20% reflex strain 10% and keep it the same layer color here we use something this kind of color okay you can see the reflect color looking like that and teacher fresnel and mr and the same 30 percent layer fresnel change to conductor change to normal normal Okay, now if we render region only for the letter, you can see we create some shading block in our letter. If you certify, you can just keep it like that. But I will play around with bump also, and then this bump we create layer and then we go back to our color here double click in noise we right click and copy shader and then we pass it in our bump shader noise and then noise we can pass shader so and then we go back to bump strength we increase to 50% you can see how the different if I adjust the strain of BAM okay so with BAM without BAM so it creates some depth so if we render so it's making the block here looking more realistic with BAM okay so uh, that's all for the material of color let's close it so now let's apply it on the surface like this is like letter so i select on it control okay 
okay and then I click on the letter here letter material right click and apply so it will apply in the letter oh I forgot this one okay and for the text box let's select on it and then click on the material right click and apply okay now let's create another material for our shoe so I will start simple with velocity material again and the color I will use this kind of color so I will copy the color from our previous material be shader and then in here I can pass it okay or we can get made it darker yes something like that and then reflection we add reflection legacy okay let's play around with this and the same we use attenuation we use adaptive roughness we not use we don't want any roughness we fix strength only 20 and let's change some color to purple like that layer for snap conductor let's import let's increase increase the spatula to be sharp a little bit and let's change colors to something like blue like that okay and go back to layer we can add the false spatula add and use only 80% okay and then we can first let uncheck the camera and then we can apply or check it on some of our shoe randomly and then we create another material for our shoe double click on it and this is real shoe glass so I will create glass material for it let's keep color the same in transparency we check and we use reflection 1.4 and let's change adoption color uh, uh, sorry absorption color to something like tusco like that and let's change absorption distance to 20 cm so the color will look much and we not use with any reflectant and then first let us apply it on the our object first after we render out we will adjust it adjust the material later after we render this okay and then we create another material metal material and then in make color here I use layer double click on the shadow here and shadow we use uh, sorry let's load our in make texture so I use metal seamless here you can download in the link in video description pen no and then we create some noise here and noise changing mode to overlay and then noise here we relate this scale we increase to 500 okay and then reflect and add cg8 Add that too. Fine. 
the personal conductor. Yes, yeah, something like that. If it look too much in texture here, we can go to the snail or surface line metal. Okay, and in metal change it to white. Picture in layer color picture and chain picture to surface and choose metal okay and my strength 85% and then we apply on our shoe Okay, before I render test, let's create another material. So, for this bar, this bar, yes, I will use the same material with shoe. So, something like that. Or we can copy from shoe glossy, control and copy, and rename it to bar bg and then we make the color darker something like that okay and apply the material on it and the floor we can create simple glossy material make it dark a little bit reflectant at CG8 detail and reflect strength only 10% let's change layer color to some light blue and apply on the floor and for the signal here we can use with, with this material shoot metal because this is symmetry because this is symmetry so when we apply only one it will create two like that and the background here we can in fact you can just uncheck it or you can have it because we will replace it in after effect so I think that I don't need it just uncheck it and now let's render test we will replace the background behind it with after effect oh sorry before that now let's create some this use color black only black for the screen I forgot this this screen lunar screen so let's put this metri on the now okay let's render test okay so this is looking too bright on this area this is because our roughness is so high and also our spatula go back to our test box here and we go to our reflectant and layer 1 here we decrease spatula strength to 20% okay as you see if I increase you can see the preview if I increase the spatula strength it will look too bright like that so let's decrease it to 20% or 50% oh, 15%. and then uh, for glass material how about let's change color to in here to something like yellow so 
can see right there and I copy the colors over here and the in glossy material we can it is too like to look to light color we can change it to look light blue make it dark Change the font spatula to something like orange. So it's in 82 frame. So go to frame 82. Let's render. That's it again. We need time to experience with it. Okay. It doesn't mean that you just set up only set up metry only one time and then you get the result you want sometime you need to adjust the line again or adjust the metry again or sometimes you just get this nice shot in cinema 4d and we can compose it more in after effect you can compare with these two things which thing that you prefer okay so I just skip it I still not yet satisfied with the color so I may change the glass material to the previous color something like that Copy to the color and then in shoe glossy, I will add it a little bit darker. Okay, something like that. And I increase the spatula strength. And the PG here is almost the same as the taste box. So I make it dark a little bit. Change the default spatula to around sharpness like that. Layer color change to something like orange, light orange. Okay, and we forgot with this detail line something like sweep right yeah this sweep so we copy from the back shoot material control and let's rename it to and let's change color to orange or yellow something like that and let's apply on the sweep let's see how it looks first if it look too not like awkward you can change the color 
Mm, it's not nice. Let's change. Let's keep it simple with Y, okay? And this box, we I apply glass material on it. Let's delete. Okay, let's render this again. Let's stop it first. Let's back, and this material should be. Frame 82. Let's render it again. Okay, so I think that I certify with the uh, this scene. If it's not perfect yet, but we can composite more in After Effects. So I think we close it. Now let's render in the first scene how it look. So it's not bad. It look nice with the reflection and bump strand we can see even it's not render in the full full time yet but we can see how it look okay so i think that's all for our video tutorial today we talk about the material that we use and the textures and hdoi file you can download in the link in the video description okay so thank you very much for watching and uh, in the next video we will talk about render out in this scene so you will see how i set up the buffer and how i set up the eternal compositing in this scene so see you in the next video stay home and stay safe